Every day, we spend a significant amount of time indoors, especially in our homes and workplaces. Therefore, good indoor air quality is important to our health and well-being. Because of that, the Institute of Air Quality Management (IAQM) has published a guidance on indoor air quality to assist its members and qualified practitioners in the assessment of indoor air quality. The Institute of Air Quality Management (IAQM) was originally established to support professionals working on outdoor air quality. Over the last two decades, the Institute has produced a number of guidance documents to assist our members and others in their work. Interest in indoor air quality has grown in recent years, and there was the realisation that there are many indoor environments, often where vulnerable people spend significant periods of time, where exposure to indoor air pollution was simply never considered. In 2019, we surveyed IAQM members to see if there was any appetite to broaden the remit of the Institute. Over 80% agree the Institute should include indoor air quality. And in early 2020, a group of interested members started producing guidance on the assessment of indoor air quality, which was published at the end of September 2021. Let's have a look at the guidance. The guidance describes a risk-based assessment method based on the source-pathway receptor relationship. It takes account of the likely magnitude of different pollution sources, such as the ingress of outdoor air, cooking, and the use of VOC-generating products. Whether there's a clear pathway from the source to the receptor and the duration of exposure. Depending on the risk, further work, including monitoring, may be recommended. If there's a known high risk, this simple assessment might be sidestepped with appropriate monitoring and or modelling undertaken, depending on the nature of the indoor environment being investigated. The IAQM guidance provides a simple to use method for identifying where there may be a high risk from indoor air pollution with recommendations on further actions to take. I am an air quality professional and I find the IAQM Indoor Air Quality Guidance to be a comprehensive guide which provides a range of practical advice on how to assess, monitor, model and mitigate indoor air quality in a range of indoor environments. The information it provides is exceptionally useful to my work. I particularly like the decision flowcharts and diagrams in the guide, which are very clear and easy to understand, and will prove of use even if you don't have a background in indoor air quality assessment and mitigation. We hope that this guidance will be useful not only to IAQM members, but also to people in the construction industry, building owners and occupiers, and regulatory authorities for the assessment of indoor air quality. Ultimately, to help improve the indoor environment for people's health, well-being, and productivity. To download this guidance, and for more information about air quality management, please visit the IAQM's website.